So my name's Megan. I was born in Woodbury, New Jersey in 1983, and um, I started using drugs when I was um, 13. Uh, my mom introduced me to drinking and doing pills, and um, I thought it was normal. I was introduced to heroin. I was like, yeah, 10 bucks a bag, you know, it's cheap. I'm going to start getting high every day. I had no idea what I was getting into. So after about a month of doing that, I was physically addicted. I couldn't go a day without it, or I was, you know, deathly sick. I think 24 years old, I started shooting meth in Oregon. I shot meth for four years uh, daily. I had tried to get clean so many times, and I couldn't do it. I've been in and out of rehabs, I think, five times. When I got out of rehab, um, the father of my children had left. and. I felt alone, I felt abandoned. Um, I've never really felt unconditional love. I was living out of a car in Camden with two children and um, I was pregnant. Over the time I had three children. Anybody that would open their home to me, I would, you know, I would go there. And I met this girl and um, she introduced me to escorting. And so that's how I started um, prostituting. I was making a lot of money. Um, I was getting so high to where I numbed the pain. I didn't want to feel anymore. I was drowning in my disease. Um, and I found out that my daughter was being molested in foster care. I was in a position where my hands were tied. I couldn't help my daughter. Um, and this is all happening because junkie. Like, I made these decisions. I did this to my daughter. I met this guy and, and he came and said, if you help me out and rent hotel rooms in your name, I will give you a place to stay. Come to find out he was um, a drug dealer. He dealt with assaults and crack. One day he said I was disrespecting him and, and he just started beating me. And this went on for hours. His girlfriend was holding me down. He was kicking me. He was punching me in the face. I was trying to block as much as I could, but if I, if I would scream, he would punch me in my ribs. He held me in the hotel room for two days, and um, I really thought I was going to die. I remember laying in the bed asking God to just do it, um, just make sure it was quick. But God had bigger plans for me. So I came to Pittsburgh pregnant, and because I knew I had a warrant, I knew the jail would put me on methadone and help me with the withdrawal, and that's exactly what I did. I walked up to that jail, and I pushed that button, and I turned myself in. I just wanted a change. And so <clears throat> I did two months in jail. I got into a bridge program, and one day I was at a bus stop, and this woman came up to me handing out flyers. And I read it, and it was for a church. It was for a giveaway. It was a wrap after that. I walked into City Reach, and the people at City Reach, it's not just a church. I always say this, it's not just a church, it's a family. These people have helped me more than anybody has helped me in my life. They've led me to, to God. Um, they've, they've opened my eyes to people can love you, people can give you unconditional love, and they don't have to be your family. I was baptized last summer. Um, by Pastor John and Pastor Frank. I was so moved and it was just, it was beautiful. It was that old Megan I left, that, that shell of a person. I left that disease. I left all of that negative feelings, that being beaten, being raped. I left that all in that pool. I am no longer a victim. I wanna share my story just so people can say, you know what, if she can make it, I can make it.